yeah. right? So on one hand, my, my thinking on this is, okay, it's sort of appropriate medical management for yeah. people that are coming in for alcohol-related volume depletion, things like that. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, it's making it so cozy for them. Hang on here. I, I'm actually hearing we have the doctor on the line, Dr. Jason Burke. He's the founder of Hangover Heaven. Dr. Uh, Jason, thanks for calling. Please, uh, what's, what's your, my concern is, sir, is that you're, are, are you referring these people for treatment for their alcoholism? That's really my bottom line question. Well, I don't think that the majority of the people on that uh, we take care of are technically alcoholics. Uh, well, hold on. Um, well, let, what, what, then how do you define alcoholism? That's an uh, issue with chronic alcohol intake. That's, and that's chronic, no, that's chronic severe alcoholism. That's, that's not alcoholism. I've never seen a doctor battle before. Well, here this it is. is so here, cool. here it is. I mean, let, let me just uh, tell you, the American Society of Addiction <laughs> Medicine look, looks at alcohol as ongoing use in the face of consequence, and health being one of the categories for which, if there is consequence and you have family history, you pretty much got it. Now, you may not have chronic severe, you may not be heading towards liver disease, and it, but it will progress, but don't you think these people need a referral? I don't think so. The way that the business was designed was for people that were in Las Vegas and drank too much one night and had plans the next day and they were not going to be able to make it to their golf outing, their helicopter tour, to the stratosphere to ride roller coasters or whatever it may have been because they accidentally drank too much the night before. And it's easy to do that in Las Vegas. The time frame over which people drink is much longer here than it is when people are at home. And then factor in the dry climate, it's a perfect setup for a hangover. Well, my, my buddy here, Joy, thinks you've, you've defended yourself perfectly. In yeah. fact, I think he wants to have a follow the bus around the country, I wherever think, it might go. Okay. Doctor, I think you're, you are God sent, and you should just serve tacos on this bus also. <laughs> And it would just be a complete, it would be a complete must ride. It's yeah. like saline and then some greasy tacos. Saline and tacos. That'd be awesome. I just got it. I, I can't, unless you are a psychiatrist or unless you're certified in addiction medicine, I've had extensive training in this. I don't understand how you can have people coming in with alcohol related medical issues and not have somebody, at least a, at least a threshold questionnaire. At least some sort of screening instrument that you make these people full out, fill out, so at least they will contemplate. But that's that, it's a I'm Vegas, just saying, Doctor Drew. It, it doesn't depend. What does it depend? I'm just saying it's Vegas. Everyone gets drunk. Like even people nope. that don't really drink get drunk in Vegas.